ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு விவித் கெமி யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் ஈஸ் வித்யாஸ்ரீ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐல் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் த ரிமெயினிங் கொஷின்ஸ் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா டெட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொஷின்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி இயர் ட்வெண்ட்டி ட்வெண்ட்டி ஒன் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் வாட்ச்ட் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு சொல்யூஷன் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா டெட் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் கொஷின் பேப்பர் ஆஃப் தி இயர் ட்வெண்ட்டி You can watch those videos by clicking on the i button appearing on your screen. So with this video, I'll be completing the remaining questions of 2021 TET examination of Maths and Science. So starting with question number 131, which of the following statement is correct about an aqueous solution of an acid and of a base? Statement 1, higher the pH, stronger the acid. 2, higher the ph weaker the acid 3 lower the ph weaker the base 4 lower the ph stronger the base option 1 1 and 2 option 2 2 and 3 option 3 1 and 4 option 4 2 and 4 if you have no idea about what is an acid what is a base and what is the ph you can learn these concepts by watching my videos related to acids bases as well as how you can identify acidic and basic salts you can watch all these videos by clicking on the i button appearing on the screen here this question is related to the aqueous solutions of acid and base means the solution of acid and base is prepared in water in ph scale if the ph of a solution is less than 7 it means it is an acid and if the ph is greater than 7 it means it is base if the ph is equal to 7 we call that solution as neutral solution so these thing you should be knowing in the beginning so ph less than 7 is acid and ph is equal to 7 is neutral ph greater than 7 is a base so ph from 0 to 7 will be acid and from 7 to 14 means greater than 7 until 14 it is a base so in the given statements first statement is telling that higher the ph stronger is the acid so with respect to acid we should be knowing that lower ph it means that stronger is the acid which means if you have a ph 2 and ph is equal to 6 then the solution with ph 2 will be stronger acid so lower ph it means that stronger is the acid so with respect to base you need to know that higher is the ph it means stronger is the base so we will find where these two statements are there in given option so statement 1 and 2 is related to acid 3 and 4 is related to base so lower ph means strong acid so here they have given higher ph so the statement holds vice versa higher ph means weaker is the acid so therefore the statement 2 is correct for the acid now we will check with respect to base higher the ph stronger is the base so they have given lower ph so higher ph stronger base it means that lower ph weaker is the base so with respect to bases statement 3 is the right one so now we will choose the among the four option which is having statement 2 and 3 so therefore the right answer here is option 2 that statement 2 and 3 is correct related to aqueous solution of acid and of a base question number 132 the atomic mass of sodium is 23 the number of moles in 46 g of sodium option 1 4 option 2 2 option 3 0 option 4 0.5 number of moles is calculated by the formula number of moles is equal to given mass divided by atomic mass or molecular mass so here since sodium atom is given it's divided by atomic mass it's given to find us 
the number of moles in 46 grams of sodium. So it is 46 grams is the given mass. Atomic mass of sodium is 23. So the answer is 2. It has 2 moles. Therefore the right answer here is option 2. Question number 133. Most suitable material for the preparation of handles of cooking utensils. Option 1. Polythene. Option 2. PVC. Option 3. Nylon. Option 4. Bacalite. The right answer here is option 4, Bacalite. Question number 134. Conventional energy sources. Option 1. Exhaustible energy sources in limited quantity. Option 2. Inexhaustible energy resources in unlimited quantity. Option 3. Renewable energy resources in limited quantity. Option 4. Exhaustible energy resources in unlimited quantity. Conventional energy sources are nothing but they are exhaustible energy resources present in limited quantity. Therefore, the right answer here is option 1. Question number 135. A soap molecule has option 1. Hydrophobic head and hydrophilic tail. Option 2. Hydrophobic head and hydrophilic tail. Option 3. Hydrophilic head and hydrophilic tail. Option 4. Hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. So, the soap molecules are nothing but they are sodium salts, sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acid. And an example for soap we can consider as sodium stearate which is given by the formula C17H35COONA. So, here itself we can observe. So, this is sodium salt of carboxylic acid and this Salt part, we are going to indicate it as a head and the long chain carboxylic acid part, we are going to indicate it as chain form. So, we can, I can write this as head and the long chain carboxylic acid is nothing but the tail part. The head part is water loving part and the tail part is water hating part. So, therefore, we call the head as hydrophilic and the tail as hydrophobic and therefore the right answer option 4 hydrophilic head and hydrophilic sorry hydrophobic tail question number 136 antibiotics are not effective against option 1 bacteria option 2 virus option 3 protozoa option 4 fungi and therefore the right answer here is option 2 virus. Question number 137. Most abundant proteins in animals. Option 1 trypsin. Option 2 hemoglobin. Option 3 collagen. Option 4 insulin. The right answer is option 3 collagen. Question number 138. A farmer has grown grapes on a larger scale. Unfortunately, there is no market for grapes. Suggest a method to preserve these grapes. Option 1 vacuum drying. Option 2 Sun drying, option 3 cold storage, option 4 hot air drying. The right answer is option 4 hot air drying. Question number 139. Identify the non perishable food among the following option 1 milk products, option 2 vegetables, option 3 egg, option 4 food grains. Non perishable food items means we can preserve it for long duration of time and the right answer here is option 4 food grains. Question number 140. Food rich in roughages are option 1 fried foods, option 2 pulses, option 3 noodles, option 4 fruits and vegetables. So we have fruits and vegetables with rich amount of roughages content and therefore the right answer is option 4 fruits and vegetables. Question number 141. Which phylum Contains the greatest number of species of animals. Option 1, Porifera. Option 2, Nematoda. Option 3, Colenterate. Option 4, Arthropoda. Right answer is option 4, Arthropoda. Question number 142. The parasitic flat worm that is dwelling in the liver of sheep. Option 1, Tapeworm. Option 2, Planaria. Option 3, liver fluke. Option 4, filarial worms. The right answer is option 3, liver fluke. Question number 143. 
rasping tongue of molluscans option 1 osculum option 2 radula option 3 spicules option 4 tentacles the correct answer is option 2 radula question number 144 the nature of learning process in science teaching option 1 simple and complex option 2 complex and passive option 3 complex and active option 4 simple and linear the right answer here is option 3 complex and active question number 145 the action required by the science teacher to develop creativity among students in learning science concepts option 1 displease students option 2 displease authority option 3 tolerate indiscipline option 4 tolerate disorder the right answer here is option 3 tolerate indiscipline Question number one forty six. The statement describes the nature of science. Option one: Science is exciting. Option two: Science is social in nature. Option three: Science is ongoing. Option four: All the above statement. So here they have asked the statement which describes nature of science, and with respect to the nature of science, all the three options given are correct. So right answer is option four. All the above statements. Question number one forty seven. Assertion A. Science proceeds from assumptions. Reason R. Science knowledge is based on observation of samples of matter. Option one. Both A and R are true. R is a correct explanation of A. Option two. Both A and R are true. R is not a correct explanation of A. Option three. A is true. R is false. Option four, A is false. R is true. The right answer here is option one. Both A and R are true, and R is a correct explanation of A. Question number one forty eight. The useful technique in science to understand conceptual gap in learners. Option one, using concept maps. Option two, giving practical activity. Option three, giving practice sheets. Option four. providing extra information in order to understand the conceptual gap in learners we use concept map therefore the right answer here is option 1 using concept maps question number 149 according to einstein's statement no any mental activity will be completed without any physical activity leads to provide facilitation towards option 1 giving lecture on topic option 2 organizing seminars option 3 conducting lab activity option 4 providing hands on experience so here no mental activity will be completed without any physical activity so this physical activity means hands on training so therefore the right answer here is option 4 providing hands on experience question number 150 as per National Curriculum Framework (NCF) 2005. Science education should be option one, true to science teacher; option two, true to child; option three, true to environment of the school; option four, true to classroom culture. So, according to NCF 2005, science education is it should be true to child, and therefore the right answer here is option two. hereby i complete this video on solution to karnataka tet mathematics and science question paper of the year 2021 thank you for watching like and share the video if the contents provided are useful to you subscribe to my channel for more updates